comes out. If you've ever seen me here before, I like to record my sets, um, not because I'm trying to get better, but because the horns kind of feel boring to me. Um, I have a humiliation game. So like, as much as I like seeing a naked woman online and tell me how much of a bad boy I am, seeing me bomb up here, it just pushes me over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I had a joke about how you can't be attractive and funny in my first set, and then the three sets after that, each MC, including Max, uh, commented on my appearance. So I, I guess I know where I stand. Um, I didn't start doing comedy to like be funny or like because I needed to overcome fear. I did it because my little brother loves comedy, and I love pissing him off more than anything else in the world. So like he doesn't think I'm funny at all. So every time I do one of these open mic nights, I just imagine him in the back of my head screaming at me to stop, and it fills me with just so much joy. <laughs> I've really been making this hard on myself, though. At every open mic I've gone to, I've written different jokes, and at every open mic I've gone to, I've forgotten them halfway through. And then I went to three separate open mics, two here, one in Valparaiso, and I saw the same guy do a mishmash of the same jokes at each one, and I thought to myself, hey, you can do that? I mean, I've been writing three different jokes about me pooping my pants, and I haven't been working on timing or delivery. I'm a slow learner. Besides an aspiring comic, I've been a chef, I am a machine operator, I have been a reverend, and I have been a delivery driver. Uh, and what does that mean for you ladies out there? That means I can cook you dinner, I can operate a battery powered device, and I can have you praying to God all in 30 minutes or less, or else it's free. <laughs> when I'm not working, I like to hike. I actually just got back from a hiking trip with my cousin in Tennessee. Uh, anytime we go hiking, we're always super excited. We're like, ah, we can do this. We can't. We suck. Um, and on this last one, she was like, you know, it's going to be shorter than most of the ones we've done. So I was like, the flip flops that I'm wearing should be fine. You know, flip flops, known for their ankle support and foot protection. We had to go to five mile hike. And after stubbing my first toe, I was thinking to myself, hey, you know, it could be worse, I could be bleeding. And then I stubbed my second toe, and I was bleeding. <laughs> Nothing was going right. Uh, we didn't bring food, we didn't bring water, and by that point, my brain had left the building, and I was stumbling along, <laughs> along delirious, maniacally laughing, and half screaming, half singing, let it go, let it go! Uh, <laughs> the only joy that came to me was the faces of the families who uh, saw us after they had heard us. Uh, it wasn't pretty. I tried to stay up on the news. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been following this, but the police unions are pushing back against vaccine mandates. So I guess it's only cool if they're the ones who get to use force to get people to comply. Uh, well, finally, I had Afghanistan, which is great, it's cool, um, but I could have told Biden that the pull at that thing doesn't always work. Um, we pretty much were balls deep in them for 20 years, up at 10 on the dresser, and then just got the fuck out of there. Losing my virginity was less awkward. Does anyone else have that friend who, they, they like to post conspiracy theories, and then when somebody tries to like argue with them, they defend themselves with their by like posting their IQ, and then they post like a sketchy link that's attached to definitely a virus, and you click the link, and uh, a window pops up, and it's like, Bill's bummer pills, 50% off if you take the IQ test. Then you click on that, and you go to another page, and it's like, of these three things, choose the dog. And it's a picture of a toaster, and a fire hydrant, and a dog, Word dog underneath it. Then when we finally completed it, it does actually give you a score, which is sketchy at best. Uh, and the next one it says, uh, Hard Rock Bills, 1999. Yeah, I'm not so sure that they were concerned about their IQ in the first place. I just think they wanted those voter pills. Uh, either way, my name is John. My IQ is 133, and that's my time. <laughs>